Big thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. You can enhance your- Oh, you already slept though, not through. Sorry, my bad. PC performance with Opera GX. <laughs> but you know what? You don't have to start fresh. Yo, what's up, Falcon? GX. That's right, fuckers. This video is sponsored. Me seeing all my favorite YouTubers sponsoring literally Chinese spyware. Okay, the amount of grammatical errors here is crazy. If this video doesn't make you hate Opera GX, I don't know what will. I don't know if they have to employ child slaves like Sheen in order to get you to boycott them or to be anti-Opera GX. But hopefully after watching this video, you can carefully consider the fact that, hey, maybe this company is doing some unethical things. Hey, maybe this company sucks. Hey. When I was in middle school, me and my cousin went on Omegle and some guy was swinging a full bleach bottle by his balls. Brother. Maybe the YouTuber who turned down money because he doesn't support Opera GX actually has a reason to why he doesn't like it. Anyway, no talking throughout this video, only listening. Zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. I need all hands on deck and I need everybody listening. All right, so last night I was trying to watch a show on my Netflix account, but because I guess for some reason I use the maximum number of devices with this account, even though I literally pay for this service, I guess that's not good enough anymore. I guess paying for the service doesn't mean I get it anymore. Maybe I have to give the CEO of Netflix a lap dance or something, a kiss on the lips, some weird Epstein Island shit. I don't know, but I literally couldn't watch. Yeah, I gotta be quiet, dude. A Cheeto, the the fucking the great mind, a Cheeto is is about to school me on Opera GX. I have to be quiet now. I have to I have to be silenced. The show I was trying to watch. I was trying to watch you. <laughs> And I literally couldn't. I spent about 15 minutes trying to get into my own account and I couldn't watch it. So I had to use a website that I use sometimes when my Netflix isn't working, which everyone on Omegle thought I was trans or a girl for a reason. I never went on Omegle. I was too fucking, I was too fucking scared, dude. I will not name because I think if I name this website, I might get in trouble with YouTube or something, but it's a website that oh, offers sure, Netflix content, but without paying for it. And how this oh. website stays up and running is it kind of bombards you with ads. A lot of these ads oh. are like NSFW. A lot of them are crap, you know, fake pop-ups saying like, oh, you have a virus and you need to download this fucking virus remover, whatever. It's usually just garbage, right? And so you close the tabs that pop up and whatever. And I noticed that at one point, one of the ads that popped up was for Opera GX. And my first thought is like, okay, Okay, hold on a second. This website is basically borderline illegal and Opera GX is advertising on there? I mean, what? That should just tell you they do not care about the law. They will collect your data. They will sell you out to the Chinese Communist Party. And that's not even the worst part. Well, what? Holy shit, brother. I'm starting to find out that the commentary community has really... It really has some quite special stars in their sky. I'm really starting to realize that, bro. Holy shit. They will sell you out to the communist Chinese party. Yo, brother, man. What in fucking Alex Jones did I just click on, brother, man? What is this that I'm hearing right now? What is this that I'm hearing? Isn't that really funny? You deserve, like, all the subs. Yo, thank you, Ari. I appreciate you. Bro, think probs just a fake ad. Yeah, literally. That's what I was about to say. I was like, yo. And even still, I feel like you're pr like probably the way to get an ad on one of those sites is you distribute it through somewhere else and then they distribute it. Like, I don't know. So the longest time I was scared because I thought they could find me. All right, who wasted $5 on me? But it is not everybody who does that. Oh, oh, man. oh, yo, Cam, thank you so much for the gifted sub, brother. I appreciate you with fuck ton, dude. You're a fucking real one. Listen, like a podcast instead? Okay, slay. Thank you for the lurk ski while you lay on your desk. Anthony, what's up, dude? Someone should have probably stopped me from going on Omegle. Yeah, fair, dude. Well, I mean, it might be the- My- Me fucking seeing my friends go on Omegle and be like, yo, what? Worst part, depending on how hard you value your data or whatever. But to me, the worst part about this was that I closed the Opera GX pop-up. And about 30 seconds later, it opens a new Opera GX pop-up. But this time, it's not even just advertising the product to me. It downloads itself onto my laptop. It starts a download for the Opera GX setup. Dude. It fucking downloaded itself. Oh, hey, did you consent to downloading our product? No? Well, doesn't matter. We're going to download ourself onto your computer. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it, dude. I Brother, I hate to tell you this, 
um, maybe you're just on a really shitty unsecure website unprotected. Maybe you're just really on a shitty uh, website unprotected. Also, is it really Opera GX? How did you confirm this? Maybe he'll tell us. But how did you confirm that this was actually Opera GX and not just some fake fucking malware? Um, when I tried to download Minecraft boob mods, okay, uh, and I downloaded them and I got the purple monkey on my computer that literally shut that shit down, dude. Uh, guess what? It said on it, Minecraft boob mod dot EX, okay? Uh, yeah. Why, yeah, why is he not using Adblock? If I put Adblock on my Chromebook, they're gonna sell my information to the Chinese Communist Party! Oh my god. How do I know this? All right. Uh, sensitive society told me. Sensitive society told me this. <laughs> Cam, thank you for hooking the homies up with the songs. All right. Who oh wasted my god, Anvik. Oh my me. fucking god, Cam. I'm gonna dap you up so hard. I'm gonna dap you up so fucking hard. Omg, eight year old me. Omg, eight year old me damaging my parents' laptop because I looked up Minecraft for free. Yeah, it definitely said free Minecraft.exe when I launched that shit, and it gave me fucking sixty viruses. Also, reverse flash. What's up, bro? How's it going? That was definitely a virus posing as Opera GX. Yeah, I don't know. Run it through virus total. Yeah, dude. I don't. I don't know, dude. This is like crazy to me. I'm just gonna start doing this ad after every ad pop up that I get. Oh wait, I don't get ad pop ups because I have an ad blocker on Chrome, and then I also use Opera GX. I'm not even. Yo, I'm not trying to even do tricks on it. Okay, Opera GX got a funny fucking Twitter account. But if this was Firefox in this situation, I'd be like, uh, I don't know, dude. I've used Firefox before. And fucking, it never did any of this shit. I don't know what you want from me, dude. I don't know what you want me to believe. From LimeWire? Oh, my God. Guys, what does sub do? I'm new to Twitch. Oh, it basically, uh, it gives me five bucks. It, well, actually, it gives me like 232, but technically it's five bucks to Twitch. And then they decide that I get 232. Anyways, uh, and you don't have to deal with ads as well as you get emotes and a badge by your name. Is too old for you? It is, dude. I literally grew up right after that. Like, time, like, or I like gain consciousness. The reason I like Opera GX is they have a auto search remover that wipes the porn and adds things like how do, how to do good charity work, Bible quotes, etc. And they also have a porn hider button that when pressed, it opens a brand new window of random shit. I'm adult Keck W. No, that's crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy, brother. I like Opera GX because if I go to Opera GX right now and I click this little game thing, it tells me when games are coming out and also gives me gaming story and games that are free and games deals, okay? So, that's why I like Opera GX. Oh, and it makes the funny click noise. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it closes tabs to save fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, yeah, I saw, I saw it on Twitter, yeah. Julian, what's up, bro? Um, dude, I'm trying to figure out how to donate right now. Just give me a minute. Oh, dude, yo, are you ain't got to do all that. I appreciate you. Opera GX is paying for advertisements on piracy websites, and the, the advertisements they're paying for are literally automatic downloads to your computer. Dude, you're either on a horrible, horrible website, or you literally accepted something. There is no way. Like, don't be on that fucking website. I, allegedly, have used websites like this before. Nothing like this has ever happened to me. Literally never. I use Chrome. I used... Oh, yeah, I used Opera GX <laughs> on my phone to do it. Listen, if Opera GX is stopping the shitty pop-up ad on the sketchy site that you're using uh, from popping up and downloading something, or also uh, stopping people from grabbing your IP because they have a VPN, but they sell my search history to the Chinese Communist Party, which already the Chinese Communist Party could buy from Facebook or fucking Chrome... Uh, or, sorry, Facebook or Google, sorry, Meta or, uh, Alphabet Company or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, I don't care. Dude, I think, I think my boy, uh, Cheeto was just like, oh, damn, it's a slow day in the office. What can I talk about? <laughs> this sounds like a mean just chatting segment. Yeah, okay, what can I talk about? Wait, is my math, mathing, Twitch takes 54% of the earnings from a sub? Yes, yes. That's why... That's why I will tell people to give bits if they're trying to give something extra. Uh, if they aren't just trying to watch out for... Like, if you if you literally have no intent of anyone in chat getting, like, a gifted sub, you're just trying to support me monetarily, I usually say to give bits, right? Because I understand that some people like to give out subs because, like, like how Cam just did. He just gave it out to everybody in chat so that they wouldn't have to watch ads, right? So it's a better viewing experience. But I usually tell people instead of, like, just gifting five or ten subs, I'll be like, yo, uh, just give me, like, 
however many bits that would be because bits you get like there are for a dollar 40 worth of bits you get a dollar of it and then i also started a patreon which is the main thing because i get 90 percent of that so yeah and you guys get some rewards but yeah guys don't support the sims 4 guys don't support the sims 4 when i was eight i tried to get it for free and it broke my mom's computer this clearly is a's fault yeah dude Oh my eyes, just to say that it was just search history. The Chinese won't find anything fun to use from me. What? <laughs> so whatever. Yeah, literally. If you know what to do, just download it the not legal way. Do you got to like that? Bro Prob has so many Trojans that his shit is messed up. There's no way that's legal. Like, there's just no way. There's just no Yo, Ari, right, I appreciate you, homie. Yeah, it's the first link in the description. Wait, that's a legal thing they're doing. And Automatic. Automatic downloads on your landing page without user consent are unacceptable. Requesting sensitive information, ads requesting sensitive information like so social security numbers or bank account details on your landing page will likely be disapproved. I don't know what this has to do with Opera GX downloading, but okay. And the audacity. The Wait, this is different. Automatic downloads on your launching page without user consent are unacceptable. Yo, what's up, Austin? Like, there's just no way. There's just no way that that's a legal thing they're doing. And the audacity. The audacity. Austin, how is life going, Pookster? City, bro. I wish I had the confidence. Appreciate you stopping in as always. Sorry. Opera GX has, bro. I I'd have at least $5 million by now. They show their accolades on the same screen where they just bugged my computer. 4.7 out of 5 stars. Wait. You tell me this motherfucker actually accepted this download? He was like, well, this video is either going to pop and I'm going to get fire ad rev uh, and my computer gets fried or I'm literally just downloading Opera GX. Their accolades. Are Let me go back here. Let me go back here. Legal thing they're doing and the audacity, the audacity, bro. I wish I had the confidence Opera GX has, bro. I I'd have at least $5 million by now. They show their accolades. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh my God. No, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be positive. I'm not trying to say anything bad about anyone. On the same screen where they just bugged my computer. 4.7 out of 5 stars. The Red Dot Award. Watching a Transformers Marathon with your BF? Dude, fuck yeah. What the fuck is the Red Dot Award? Yeah, the Opera GX Hitman is going to put a red dot in my forehead before I see the light. And the... Is this guy a moron? <laughs> That's kind of what I was about to say. If award. <laughs> like, literally, what does that mean? If I download Opera GX... Oh, dude, yeah, he's gonna get unique geese, bro. We're gonna see crypto scams on his account. Because he plays Reaper and... Oh, no way. Someone just said, I bathe in the blood of my enemies, and I am Death Reaper. I'm Death Reaper the Reaper because he plays Reaper in Overwatch. Holy fuck, I'm gonna start quoting Reyna to you guys. Everyone I love will leave me. I think that's the award they have. And I think probably the craziest part of this is if your download doesn't start automatically, please try again. Oh, don't you- Dude, that's- That's literally on every fucking site. That is on every site, dude. Oh, he didn't download it. Okay, he went to the actual website. Okay, I was saying no, no, there's no way this dude actually fucking downloaded this. Don't worry, it started automatically. I had absolutely no consent to this down- Hey, chat, remember earlier how I was saying, like, try not to talk- from a place of emotions. You don't need to be like a Ben Shapiro where you're like, facts and logic, but like just try not to like completely talk out of space of, uh, you know, your emotions. This is what talking out of your space of emotions look like. Dude is not giving us all the details. Uh, and is just like pissed and like is not using like any like connection to reality whatsoever. Download happening. You guys just let it happen, okay? Automatic. This is like having the audacity to... <laughs> Damn, thank you for the bread. Sorry, I thought something went wrong for a second. That's why I paused the video. Invited to my birthday party, and when I say, hey, I don't think you're supposed to be here, you respond by saying, oh, no, it's okay. I, I understand you must have forgotten to invite me. Like, no, I just think you I don't want you here. Anyway, though, after this happened, I basically spent the next 40 minutes trying to find more info on Opera GX because I... Okay, maybe here comes some real shit. Realized after this, th there must be more stuff that I don't know about the browser. Anyway, I saw this interaction go down... There's no way. This is where a high school diploma gets you. Oh, is this the Opera GX? Uh. Oh, wait, no, this is TikTok. You're flexing like nobody else could tweet random 
ironic, quirky, gay shit behind a serious brand account and pull these numbers. Go do it then. Okay, give me access to a multi-million dollar brand account then. Is this really what this dude is like? He's like, yeah, bro. I'm up right now uh, because I run the fucking Twitter account for Opera GX. And then somebody's like, you folks are like nobody else could tweet random, ironic, quirky, gay shit behind a serious brand account and pull these numbers. Like, brother, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, the Opera GX account is actually funny. Like, I understand, but, like, you actually have to be funny to be, like, that good at memeing and shit. Or at least somewhat. Uh, yo, Midnight! Welcome in, homie! Thank you so fucking much for coming over from the YouTube Live. I appreciate you a ton. Get this. If you went to the website, it says confirm download. I mean, come on, people. Yeah, dude. Yeah, again, this is either a very shady, shady website that he was on that auto-downloaded this. Or... Um... Or he accepted it somewhere. And also, it's a Trojan horse. There's no fucking way that Opera actually d does this shit. Like, please show me some proof that Opera actually bought ads for this site. Recently on Twitter, and it felt too good not to recap here. So we have this person tweeting, this is where a high school diploma gets you. And it's uh, him posting, I think, his Twitter analytics. And then some guy responds by saying, you're flexing like nobody else could tweet random, ironic, quirky, gay shit behind a serious brand account and pull these numbers. Which is kind of true because he is affiliated with Opera GX. The OP responds with, go do it then. And then bro says, okay, give me access to the multi-million- Okay, go fucking get it yourself, dumbass. I guarantee you in any other situation, these people will be like, oh yeah, you you gotta go out and like do it yourself go out and get it yourself go out whatever but like in this situation since it fucking validates their point everybody's like oh yeah this is a fucking great point dude in dollar brand account then and then he gets blocked by opera gx man oh my god we gotta okay did not have to do that did not have to fucking do that tattletale on our hands but that is the opera gx classic okay block any account that says something negative about you literally their textbook move to respond to criticism this one was crazy because You're unable to view this post because this account owner limits who can view their posts. Oh. Yeah, this is not a good move. Move to respond to criticism. This one was crazy because Opera GX wasn't even involved in the conversation. Like, sure, the dude was beefing with someone who was affiliated with Opera GX on Twitter, but the account was not mentioned once, and yet they still went out of their way to block this guy. Like, damn, all right. Yeah, that is some bitch shit, I'm not gonna lie. Opera GX is mad AF. Even if you tell jokes, like you say, oh, the- Yeah, same, Austin. GX stands for Great Xi Jinping because they sell their data to the Chinese Communist Party. Bro, they don't even like the jokes. They block you for jokes. Keep in mind, this is the same company that made jokes about Leaf. Girlfriend of three years just broke up with me and keyed my car. Not a joke. Fuck all women. Brother, you got you got to admit, yo, Lunar. I've made it. Lunar, what's up, homie? Welcome in. How are you doing, Naomi? What's new? Um, oh, it's you, Ari. Oh, shit, I thought you were the other lunar that used to come. Yo, fuck you, yeah, Ari. Welcome in. W woman. <laughs> Riley, I think we were talking about, like, all the shit earlier. What's new? How are you, dude? How's life? Also, a midnight. Thank you again for stopping in from the YouTube stream. Ari, right, thank you for stopping in from the YouTube stream. And anyone else that might be new here, by the way, feel free to tap in on the Discord. It's the best way to keep up with, uh with my streams and also what's going on in the community. I love men in suits. You'll love Barney Stinson. Uh, but back to my point, girlfriend of three years just broke up with me and keyed my car, not a joke, fuck all women. I think it's like, I personally think it's fucking fair for Opera GX to be like, she really put the W in women. Cause the fact this dude was like, fuck all women. Urgh. Leafy like is hard on his incel arc, bro. Holy shit. He's ex girl. That's just my take. I love bl blue collar men. Blue collar man, brother. And if you need a crutch to get a head start by using the Opera account, you just ain't funny. I want to see you do that shit from round zero. They didn't need to block him, though. Yeah, exactly. Friend, like, keying his car or something. They were like, oh, she puts the W in women because she keyed the car of a guy who's, like, a, a cyber bully or something. Like, okay, Opera GX. So you can joke about that, like, literal crimes. But I joke about great Xi Jinping. I get blocked. Like, okay, bro. Anyway, I've noticed that a lot of people have been speaking out. I told you I would find a way to support you. Dash, it took a bit. I forgot my password. Yo, I appreciate you, homie. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for coming over. I appreciate it a ton. 
Referral. Out against BetterHelp recently, one of these companies that sponsors a lot of YouTubers who actually... Yeah, but the problem... Oh, okay. This is about BetterHelp. Help. The problem is BetterHelp, there's literally court documents. There's proof. Am I going to see some proof here for Opera GX selling information and shit like that? Oh, shit. Hey, brother. It has a lot of skeletons in their closet. Like, it's not a good company. And I would say Opera GX is kind of the same thing. In Dude, I got I to gotta learn the fucking the entire thing for that. Andre, what's up, dude? I would say that Opera GX is kind of the same thing, dude. Okay, proof? Proof, though. Proof? Can I see some proof, please? I have skeletons in their closet. Like, it's not a good company. And I would say Opera GX is kind of the same thing in terms of, like, skeletons in their closet. They sponsor a lot of YouTubers. I would like to see Opera GX get called out a lot more. That'd be cool. i seen this one video with almost 400,000 views called please. The Illegal Practices of Opera GX. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Some literal facts. Please. This, holy, holy shit. Please. Can I see some actual facts here, Next please? It has a pretty good like-to-dislike ratio, which is promising. I run Fiddler to see the requests run. All I see are either requests coming from sites such as Google or Opera's new personal geolocation grabber. This new geolocation grabber now- Hey, so V2, what's up? Yo, what's up? Gasp! How goes it, dude? Shows that they only grab things such as your internet. Too many reacts? I might do it tonight just because uh, we might only have time for a little bit of cozy games tonight because I've already been live way longer, like doing this shit way longer than I meant to. Protocol, your country. What's up, brother? And your exact timestamp. This wasn't the case with how data was handled months back. Because oh. back then, they would log things such as your current local area. As well as that, they also changed what is included in their privacy policy. Oh, legal here we go. Actual Damn, proof. Sean, Thank you. you. follow with that thing? Yo, Austin, sleep well. Have an amazing day tomorrow, bro. I appreciate you, dude. As always, my bugger. Opera.com slash term. Lunar, thank you for the follow. Thank you again for coming over the Twitch. It means a lot. Terms. They yeah, maybe. I didn't I didn't mean to be doing reacts as long, but since the first react took so long, we we're uh, still rocking through this shit. Facebook, Timu, and now Opera GX. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like you're cooked either way. Do you want to have work because of sickness? Oh, I'm sorry you're sick, bro. Like, yeah, it's literally like Facebook, Timu, probably Google is doing very similar shit, like behind closed doors type shit. State like they're selling your info. That Opera does not claim ownership over it. Now the IP is crazy. Lunar, thank How you. How to use these somehow. What is your opinion on pineapple on pizza? Pineapple on pizza? Pizza is a, is like art, you know? Who am I to tell Picasso what to paint, you know? So if you like to, if you like to make your painting a little bit different than what I might use? Who am I to stop you? Chrome does the same shit exactly, dude. Love you too, Austin. Any user-generated content. However, by submitting user-generated content on any service, including any ideas, concepts, know-how, or techniques described therein, you consent to offers unrestricted use of those items. Wait, okay. However, by spending user generated comment on any service, including any ideas, concepts, known techniques described there, you can send to Opera GX under use those items. Oh, so basically, if I type something in, they can use that. With that, if you agree to Opera's terms, you have given them full right to use your data in any way that they find useful, no matter what Opera service you are actually using, including Opera GX. And with that, since Opera's parent company, Kunlin Tech, as well as their headquarters, is located in China. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, the TikTok argument again. Okay, then why why is the U.S. government not banning uh, Opera GX, huh? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, uh, Timu, too, in China? Why are we not banning that? Oh, we got to ban TikTok. Oh, we had to ban TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah right, right, right. We're really worried about TikTok, not all these other companies. They are required to give your data no matter where you're... Listen, to be fair to a Cheetos, which I have had some gripes with before, he actually did back this up with some fucking proof uh, from this other guy, but the first, like five and a half minutes is just him yelling about how he doesn't know how the fuck the internet works or websites and how downloads happen. <laughs> like, yeah, I was on a sketchy website trying to watch movies for free and then this Opera GX, probably like Trojan thing, but I'm gonna just assume that it's actually Opera GX, actually downloaded it. And then Opera GX is actually using ads. Holy shit. Oh, and Opera GX actually doesn't like the fact that uh, Leafy's an incel and they blocked me. From to the CCP. CCP stands for Chinese Communist Party. And since Opera is located under Chinese territory, they are required to share certain data with China authorities on request. That means that if Lord, you thank you for the alert, Josh. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sorry, I missed reading that. Have used Opera GX at least once since they take data on launch. They have likely given your data to the CCP. I've noticed that a lot of videos criticize. No, they have not liked. Okay, holy fuck. 
this is the thing with TikTok that literally nobody fucking understands. The Chinese Communist Party has to request the data. These motherfuckers do not care about you enough to request your data. They do not care, brother. They do not care. That like that would be like our government be like, oh yeah, uh, some random fucking Chinese citizen. Yeah, we need their data. They do not care. With the CDC? Oh, uh, nothing right now, Julian. I mean, not that I know of. Criticizing Opera GX have like a bad like to dislike ratio because I think people assume that if someone attacks Opera GX that they're also attacking the credibility of the creators that promote it, which isn't. Yeah, that's not true. Exactly true. The way that it works is that once a company is like well known to be bad by consumers and creators, then creators who will promote it from then on will be chastised for doing so. I think the best example of this is Timu. Timu is. I swear is like you're going to get annoyed hearing me donate whatever these bits are. Dash, but I may do it anyway. One. Yo, you're good, Lunar. Do your thing. I appreciate you. Uh, guys, I'm so mad. I went on a porn site and clicked an ad that said hot milfs in my area. So I put my credit card and social security and home address and that milf never showed up. What the fuck? Okay, let me back up a little bit. And on, we'll be chastised for doing Eating some gummy bears. Oh, bro, that sounds good, bro. I'm, oh, man, I'm hungry. I'm about to take a break here to go piss and get a drink or some food or something. So I think the best example of this is Timu. Timu is, is like shit. T -t Timu. Yeah, like it's so bad. Gordon. Bro, queso from Timu? Gordon, that is an honor, brother. That is an honor. Thank you. How are you doing tonight? And any creator who promotes Timu, every single comment on that video is like, bro promoted Timu skull emoji, unsub. This actually happened to Noah Samson like nine months ago. He posted this video called YouTube Shorts, a cesspool of misogyny. And if you go to the video now, you will not find any Timu ad in the video as he removed the link to it and he used the YouTube editor to cut out the promo. But the comment section is just grilling the dude for promoting Timu. Like, yeah, it's a scam. And then recently, it seems like BetterHelp has reached this territory. I'm appreciated. Finally, my parents haven't even said that I'm very happy RN. Yo, I'm sorry, Lunar. I'm sending you love, homie. I'm sorry you gotta deal with that. Territory of being like a sponsorship. And yeah, of course, of course. We, we accept everyone here as long as nobody's fucking pushing hate, you know? Lol cow, where anybody who promotes it gets chastised. I want Opera GX to get to that level. Obviously, I am cognizant of not disrupting the YouTube sponsorship economy. I don't want to rock the boat, but um, you know, BetterHelp not good. Opera GX not good. That's kind of the, my my main two ones I don't like. Anyway, if you guys ended up enjoying this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're at all new to the channel. Follow my social. Hell yeah, Lunar. All bros' wishes do not come true. Yo, Damn, Sean, Andre, did you with bro, that did you come over from the YouTube stream, bro? I'm gonna dap you up, brother. I'm gonna dap you up. Hey, brother. Social media's links are all down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm gonna be honest. I literally, like, I don't think. Here's the thing. Opera GX is not actively selling your data or your fucking IP address, right? They could, but the thing is, is like, if you're on Facebook, if you're using fucking Chrome, if you're on TikTok, Timu, any of that shit. You're cooked, dude. You're cooked, bro. So, like, if you're really that hyper aware, then okay, don't use Opera GX, but your shit's gonna get sold one way or another, dude. Like, literally one way or another, your shit is getting sold to someone. Um, Don't fucking use it, then. Like, literally go off the grid.